Hey guys, Adrian here for the Digital Dojos, and a happy New Year's to you guys. Happy 2012. Um, this is Jan Jan January 1st here, actually, or January 2nd, I should say. Um, so this is going to be one of my first videos I upload, um, welcoming you back to the channel. Um, probably upload this a little bit before January 7th. Um, I'm going to push back the date a little bit on getting the website up and running. Uh, a lot of changes are coming. A lot of stuff is to be refocused and reorganized. Um, and the reason I'm shooting at a different angle today is because I'm in the process of rearranging stuff in my room. So that side is a total mess, and that's a whole other video on itself coming up. So I uh, look forward to that uh, coming up. Anyways, um, this video is to review. Uh, you know, I usually do this, and a lot of people are asking to kind of look at a review of 2011, technology in 2011, and predictions onwards for 2012. So um, I'm going to summarize best I can what I thought of 2011. Um, it was a huge, huge tablet year. Um, my iPad's over there, I can't reach right now, but um, 2011 was a huge tablet year with the release of the iPad 2 and um, many other tablets to come after that. Um, it was definitely one of the, uh, what do you call it, uh, most anticipated products of the year just because everybody was trying to catch up, night, catch or compete with, a, with the iPad 2 or make their own sort of device. Um, and off of the iPad 2 late 2011, we had devices like the Amazon Kindle, uh, the, the Fire, and uh, you know the Barnes & Noble Nook and all those type of devices that were kind of spawned off the tablet form factor, uh, you know, with smaller screen, 7-inch screen, I believe, um, but more for ebooks, more for consuming, you know, rather than carrying around a whole bunch of books, carrying around one little device that can carry everything, all your books, essentially, you can browse the web, etc. Um, so it was a huge year for touch devices. Obviously, you know, no needless to say, I can talk about the iPhone, which is a huge product, um, iPhone 4, iPhone 4S, very, very uh, huge products, um, or, you know, iPhones in general were a huge product this year as the 4S came out. Uh, the 4S, you know, sales increased because of the price dropping down, and the 4S is obviously, you know, with uh, double the hardware, or even double the speed, improved graphics, camera was a big thing, Siri, software-wise, iOS 5, so we'll talk about that. But not to be one-sided, obviously on the other side, there's great, great Android tablets, which is something I still really, really want to try. Um, I really want to try Android to its full capacity, so I'm looking to picking up an Android tablet, not an Android phone here, because um, uh, plans are, you know, way different here in Japan. Um, anyways, um, you know, there's a lot of tablets, HP Touchpad, which a lot of people were looking forward to and didn't do so great because they kind of like stopped, I think they stopped production, right? And they're selling now at $99, or they were like a Best Buy and stuff like that. Like, they literally dropped in price. Um, and uh, so those were a big thing that a lot of people kind of just grabbed and, you know, wanted to mess around with. But there's great tabs, like uh, one I really want to get is the Samsung Galaxy Tab, that was a new one. Uh, there's the Thrive, that was another tab that came out. There's, you know, a whole bunch of Android tablets, um, and the great thing obviously with Android is it's a different, you know, it's a changing uh, infrastructure where you can, you know, root it and install a different uh, version of Android. And obviously this year also, aside from iOS 5, came out Ice Cream Sandwich, uh, which was a huge, huge uh, improvement in terms of the Android uh, mobile operating system, you know, a lot of new features and functionality. And still, like I said, something I definitely want to try, uh, even though I own an iPad first generation, I kind of skipped the second gen, um, and I, I'm, I'm opting for when the iPad third gen comes out, uh, probably, I'm guessing, this year. Um, anyways, so it was a definitely a year for tablets. Um, Software-wise, not to obviously, un, you know, uh, shadow the software, but iOS 5 was a huge, huge uh, improvement with um, the, you know, the iPhone and integrated uh, new things like Siri, obviously. What's today? Hopefully it got that because I was talking, but um, let's see. Is it going to get it? Let's see. It's Monday, the 2nd of January, 2012. So there you go. So, I mean, Siri, uh, your personal assistant for your phone, the 8 megapixel camera, 1080p video, image stabilization, um, you know, just in general, you know, um, nothing really customization-wise in terms of, uh, I mean, you got the new notification center, which is really cool as well, but uh, the home screen stayed the same and stuff like that, but iOS 5 yet was still a huge hit, and also that introduced stuff like iCloud, um, which, in, you know, uh, took over mobile me, um, and all these cloud-based services where you can sync your music and all that stuff, uh, along with iTunes Match, so that was a big hit. Um, iOS 5 was, you know, all devices, iPod Touch, iPhones, iPads. Um, but also, um, you know, to get away from that stuff, uh, TV, television, you know, my TV's back there for you guys. 
Um, 3D TV. 3D, you know, uh, TV was a huge thing this year as well. You saw a lot of 3D, different 3D TVs from a lot of different makers. You know, I'm not going to try naming because there's so many. But a lot of different technologies centered around 3D. You know, we've, we've seen stuff like 3D... Uh, obviously with the glasses and a whole bunch of different implementation with the glasses. We've seen, you know, um, stuff with even audio and stuff like binaural audio and all of that. Or, you know, or stuff where they always improve on stuff from the last year, like when they have like one speaker that does surround sound for the whole room. Or they'll do um, glasses-free 3D, which I think is going to be something that's more in 2012, but um, I'll talk about that later on. So 3D TV was a huge thing. Uh, you know, just better quality TVs obviously came out this year. Uh, you know, I'm not a huge TV nerd, but a lot of, uh, you know, new TVs released, obviously, LED TVs, uh, you know, a lot of great, uh, television thing, even the Google TV, was that, yeah, that was, was that 2011? I can't even recap now, that was 2011, I'm pretty sure, but the Google TV came out, um, and it was just, I think that was way early, 2011, but anyways, um, you know, a lot of different implementations of TVs came out with stuff baked into them. Uh, where, you know, a lot of stuff is serving internet content now. Like I said, the Google TV is all based off of that. Uh, but moving on, social networking-wise, location, location. Location was a huge thing in 2011. If you think about it, a lot of people were using stuff like Squarespace, Koala. Um, you know, now Path is a huge thing. You know, just anything that you can say, hey, I was here, or I went here, I'm checking in here, I'm the mayor of this place. Location was a huge uh, social networking buzz this year. Um, you know, not to shadow again, Twitter and Facebook and all those, because those obviously grew huge this year as well. Um, you know, like there's a movie on Facebook this year, The Social Network. Uh, so social networking got a lot of, uh, you know, uh, growth too. And in terms of YouTube, obviously YouTube is a big community. To be honest, though, 2011, uh, uh, it was a great year for YouTube, but I, I, I've, saw, I've seen the community kind of drop down a little bit in 2011. Or some, a lot of changes in the community, at least. Uh, that's just personal opinion. Anyway, moving on to 2012, let's talk prediction. I think, obviously, it's going to be a tablet-centered year. 2011 was kind of late after the iPad 2 followed, you know, a lot of tablets, but I think it's going to be centered around not only tablet, but touch functionality. So a lot of touch devices, a lot of uh, tablet form factors. Um, I'm thinking uh, software-wise, iOS is going to obviously be uploaded to, updated to iOS 6 or whatever they're going to be naming it. Uh, iCloud will be, update, uh, you know, worked on. Uh, there will be a lot of data services where a lot of people, companies down going to be using the web as a, uh, you know, as a means for their, you know, your data. You just stuff like Dropbox or any Amazon provide services. So a lot of, I think, stuff now is going to be more cloud-based. So that's another thing. I think cloud-based services are going to be a huge thing of 2012 just because 2011 uh, pushed a lot of those services. And I think more people are starting to trust cloud-based services like even Carbon, you know, backing up your data on the cloud, stuff like that. So I think cloud services are going to get up there uh, in 2012, because now, you know, Apple's doing a lot of stuff, implement, uh, you know, centered around, uh, you know, putting all your content in the cloud, that way you can access any, any, any device, any computer, etc., from anywhere. Um, social networks will obviously always grow, there'll be new ones, there'll be ones that will die out, um, you know, there's always something new popping up for social networking. Uh, something that a lot of people are talking about, live video, I think, was a huge thing also for 2011, you saw a lot of big networks and stuff like that, Twitter did a lot of stuff with live video, I know, they still do. Um, obviously, Chris Pro has always been a big influence in the live video community, but live streaming is always a big thing, you know, even for gamers now, there's a lot of, there's always been a big thing, but I think, uh, you know, that'll be worked upon as well, because that's just such a growing community now, now. instead of shooting videos, people, you know, why not shoot videos and live stream, uh, YouTube has implemented the live streaming, uh, what do you call it, service, so yeah, um, company-wise, uh, let's talk about some of the big ones, Apple, I'm predicting iPad 3, possibly. Uh, that's just a prediction, obviously. iOS 6, or whatever they're going to be naming, will obviously be implemented. An updated iCloud. And I think the Apple TV is going to be more or less of a hobby as the Apple TV 2 came out. And be uh, either I'm, there's a lot of rumors centered around an Apple television, like an actual physical TV with the Apple TV built in. It's centered around iTunes content and all that, which I think is very, very much possible and something I'm looking forward to. But again, it's just a prediction. Microsoft-wise, Windows 8, though it's not announced it's going to be released in 2012, it has to be most likely. It's a huge prediction. So we'll see a lot of stuff in 2012 and the whole new Metro UI. Uh, you know, it's all touch and tablet uh, kind of oriented. So that's a huge thing that Microsoft, that's going to be their big thing this year, is their whole Windows 8 interface, and that's how that's all, you know. Uh, it's still, you know, you have a native desktop, but you have a lot of stuff that's centered around touch and all that. 
Um, Windows Phone, they'll be pushing that as well. Integration between Windows 8 and Windows Phone. They'll be kind of uniting Windows Phone with all their other products because Windows Phone is getting more recognition in the market. Gaming, gaming will just be gaming. I can't really talk about gaming just because there's been, there's going to be great games. There's always going to be great games of the year. Um, and, you know, there's just nothing you can really, uh, there'll always be an X series or anything like that. I mean, console wise, um, maybe we'll see, I'll, we'll probably see an update for the console. I mean, uh, 360, PS3, probably PS3 we'll see an update. Uh, I can't, you know, predict for any new consoles. I mean, you know, I'm not informed enough to know anything about that. But, yeah, so, before I end, though, I do want to talk about my top picks of 2011 before I go. Here, this video is running a little long. Uh, Tablet-wise, um, iPad 2 has to take the cake because it was definitely a huge year for the iPad. Tons and tons of sales for the iPad 2. Tons of, uh, you know, new tablets came out after the iPad 2, kind of competing with it. Not all of them, but most of them. Um, the iPhone for mobile, uh, I, know, I know it's kind of sounding Apple-sided, but uh, iPhone 4S still takes the cake because it's, it's a great phone, but I mean, it's, uh, it still has a great contender. I think the Samsung Galaxy is a huge, you know, it's, it's up there. They're about even, I'm going to say, on top phones. So if you want to go, obviously, iOS, uh, the iPhone, I mean, I guess iOS, this is your only iOS device. Uh, if you want to go, um, you know, with the Apple platform, then obviously the iPhone 4S. Um, and if you want to go Android, I'm going to recommend the Samsung Galaxy. Uh, SSDs were also a huge thing this year. Hardware-wise, I think a lot of people got SSDs this year. A lot of people, I mean, I don't know sales figures or anything like that, but I just saw, noticed, you know, from my uh, knowledge of technology, tons of SSD implementations. So I think it's never too late to go ahead and get those. And prices now, compared to last year, are very much, very much, you know, cut in half. You can get a great SSD with a decent amount of storage for pretty damn cheap. So look at you can, you can look around all over. Um, App-wise, um, iOS apps, and some of these are even Android apps. Um, my favorites this year, Flipboard's been one that's always been a favorite. Evernote is something I've been using a lot lately, and that's not only a mobile app, but it's, you know, a desktop app for, you know, getting stuff done and taking notes. Remember the Milk, aside of that, that's another big service that's been out there, so that's a great, great app, uh, or service, I should say. Um, Demon Cam on iOS, it's a huge one that's been, or I've had a lot of fun with, where you can kind of do crazy effects with that, and I think also Action Movie FX is another one. Uh, Temple Run is a game that I just got into, so it's one of those addicting games on iOS. Uh, Temple Run, and obviously people love Angry Birds and all that. Um, Desktop-wise, a lot of PC gaming I've been doing. Uh, you can see my Razer back here, uh, my PC setups right here. But um, I've been doing a lot of gaming. I've been doing a lot of League of Legends. is a big one. I just hit level 30 on that this year, or this yeah, late or before 2012. Uh, so I'm level 30 on that now. League of Legends is a really really popular free-to-play game. Uh, Star Wars The Old Republic, I just got that, and I'll be uploading videos on that, so a lot of gaming videos coming this year. Uh, Skyrim, Skyrim has been another one of my favorites. Um, just one of those, you know, games that's, uh, you play on your own, but very, very fun, immersive, single-player experience. So, uh, of course, you know, for shooting, there's Battlefield 4 that came out. Or, uh, yeah, Battlefield, well, is it Battlefield 4? I'm totally lost there. No, it's Battlefield 3, sorry, Battlefield 3. Um, and there's also, um, what do you call that? Uh, let's see, yeah, Modern Warfare 3, Mar Battlefield 3, Modern Warfare 3, both came out this year, so respectively, uh, both great games, so, you know, not to shadow from other games like Assassin's Creed Revelations, which I'm trying to, uh, get the review done for that right now, and for you car people, Forza 4 was a fun one too, I got that as well, so, um, all great picks for 2011, you know, goodbye 2011, thank you guys ultimately for all the support you've given me, uh, everything you've done, uh, for 2011, and onwards 2012, stay subscribed, you know, stay in tune for my content. I hope you guys are enjoying the content. Always, as always, leave your feedback, comments, emails, inbox messages. Everything helps on what I can be improving on. And like I said, I'm kind of reformatting everything by the time you see this. Uh, so a lot of focus changes and all that for 2012. Anyways, guys, hope you guys had a happy new year. Thanks a lot for watching. Adrian here, signing out.